Today, let's talk all about ChatGPT Deep Research. This was released earlier in the year, and I think it's still one of the most loved capabilities, one that I use a lot, especially for like market research for, for products. And it's only available to pro or plus subscribers in ChatGPT, but I think it's, it's definitely worth the cost. To get started, you come to ChatGPT and select Deep Research, and then you give it a prompt. I'm asking it to look into sustainable pricing strategies for AI tools because there are so many AI tools in the market. And as a product manager, I want to see how companies can build sustainable AI subscriptions when there's so many in the market. And we'll just send it off to ChatGPT. I think typically it's going to ask some clarif cl clarifying questions. So let's give it a few answers quickly. So we've responded to ChatGPT's questions, and it's now breaking down this task into subtasks. Now, let me explain a little bit how this differs from the regular ChatGPT search, or when you just come into ChatGPT and type asking a question. But this is this is designed for more complex, nuanced research. It will analyze multiple sources, multiple data 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 sets online, and then give you a coherent and comprehensive analysis. Secondly, the regular chat GPT search is a bit more reactive, so it, it responds directly to your prompts. But the deep research tool, some may call it an agent because it, it actually asks you clarifying questions, breaks it down into different goals, and then starts compiling their findings together. So it's a bit more creative, it's a bit more agile and adaptive to the information it finds online. So ChatGPT is now compiling this report. It's gonna take a few minutes. It, it takes anywhere from five to 30 minutes because it's going and scouring the web to come up with a, a good report for us. So we can see that on the right side, it is showing us the activity and what it's doing. It's first analyzing Deloitte streaming bundling. It's digging into consumer product subscription trends. So it's going through all the information on the web and will synthesize it into a single report. So I don't think you wanna wait here for <laughs> over five minutes. So let's come back. But quickly, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. It will really help me to continue to put out content for you folks. I look forward to you subscribing so that I can continue to do more reviews of these products for you. We're back. So ChatGPT took 12 minutes to compile this report. Let's take a look at it. But before that, let's look on the right side. On the right side, we can see ChatGPT's activity. And this is something that a real human who is performing research. These are the steps that they could take to create this report. So we can see that it, you know, was looking through articles, talks about what the articles discuss. We can see all the links and sources that it used. I'm examining an article from the from Fast Company title A is about to make app subscription fatigue even worse. So it did an extensive amount of research using all these sources to create this report and every time i use this it still blows my mind it still blows my mind i use i personally use this for like market research or customer research but you can use this for for business for finance research for science for law so many use cases and on the right side of course we can see all the sources it used but over here we see that it took 12 minutes <laughs> uh yeah this is cool so now let's look through the, the report. So it seems like it's a pretty long report, but subscription fatigue and AI tools, US customer reactions and strategies. Okay, so the first chapter is limits on how many AI subscriptions consumers will maintain. Americans already spend $91 a month on spare subscriptions. And it talks about bundling, keeps going, keeps going psychological pricing thresholds for AI subscriptions. Survey suggests that around $10 a month is a pivotal price point in customers' minds. And we just keep going. Let's keep scrolling all the way to the end. Now you're beginning to see the difference between this and just the regular ChatGPT. The regular ChatGPT wouldn't give you this extensive research and it wouldn't take 12 minutes. So that's the difference in this tool. It will scour the web, scour different sources and synthesize them into a cohesive, comprehensive report. I can simply copy this and then take it to a document that I'm using and all the sources are here. So if you haven't give if you haven't given this a try, I really encourage you to do so. It's a powerful, powerful research tool 
and it's really shaping up the way we do research. That's it for this one. Uh, if you'd like me to make any other videos on this topic, let me know. But until next time, peace.